Today we're going to see a short demonstration of integrating a plan you link it in Azure DevOps. And this type of an integration will allow your individual Agile teams to utilize the tools that they prefer for day-to-day -day work management while still yielding that cross-team visibility in a tool like Lincoln. So what we're going to see is uh, we're going to start out with features in this case. And uh, features can, in my scenario, be created on either side of the um, uh, scenario. So we can have features starting out in Linkit, and we can have features starting out in Azure DevOps. So in this scenario, it's up to your process and how you're, where your planning and high-level planning happens. But the idea is that as your Agile teams break down these features into stories, and um, um, organize those stories and work on those stories. We want all that information to follow back to link it for visibility and progress updates. And then from then on, all other uh, status and other updates like scheduling progress uh, will be kept in sync between the two sides. And even things like comments and attachments will be shared and um, synchronized for kind of con uh, complete visibility into what's happening. So let's take a look. So what we see here is the desktop UI, and as we can see, I have various different integrations set up between different tools, but the one we'll focus on for now is the Linkit Azure DevOps connection. And like I said, I'll be showing a demo with features and stories to start with. So we'll go ahead and start out by taking a look at my Linkit board. As you can see, I have a bunch of different teams executing work and um, the goal is that regardless of what team is um, executing any type of work, I want to see it all in a centralized place. And I have a specific layer for my Azure DevOps team. Um, what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and create um, a new feature. And I'm going to call it video feature in Azure DevOps. And what I'll do then is I'll create a couple of user stories below that feature, just so we can have a feature and a couple broken down uh, user stories on that Linkit board as well. For starters, if I reopen up one of these stories, what we'll see that TaskOff has already done, the integration has already picked up this item and sent it over to Linkit. And the way that I know it is I'm populating two fields. One, I'm capturing the card ID from uh, link it and two I actually am capturing a clickable hyperlink that lets me navigate directly to the link it board that this item is a part of so if I wanted to actually find the particular user story link it so if I follow that link it takes me right here to my link it board and that particular user story and uh, similarly to that link also on this side I'm also connect collecting a alternate ID and a URL link just to have that cross-link traceability between the two systems. Now, if I take a look at that at the board itself, I can actually see that my feature has been sent over here as well. If I look at the connections between the cards, I'll see that the connections are also maintained between the two systems. So I can see that my ADO feature is executed by these two user stories. From this moment on, TaskLab actually creates a connection behind the scenes between the two systems and keeps everything in sync based on the mappings that I've created. Uh, for instance, if we were to go into that same user story, make a change in the title, change in there, um, let's go ahead and add a comment from Linkit, and let's throw in an attachment as well. So this will just let you see how the communication between the two systems allows your folks to stay in the tool that they are using and not really have to ever go over to the other side. So if I now go over to my Azure DevOps tool, open up my user story and refresh it, you'll see that my title has changed, my description now has my change, my comment now has been populated in here. And if I look at my attachments section, then I'll also have my attachment. And similarly, everything also works both ways. So I've set up the integration to be bidirectional. So if I make a change again, add some more info, maybe add a bullet or two, and we'll also go ahead and 
say that we're actively working on user story one, and we'll go ahead and we'll say that we've actually already resolved user story two. So this is just to show how as your developers are working through your user stories and executing work on them, you can really have that live um, update back over in Linkit for visibility. So you can now see as I came back to my Linkit side that my one of my stories is now in progress, the other one is done. So you can see that uh, kind of um, change happening pretty live here. So all the configuration that I've showed is an example. So in your scenario, you might be looking at different card types. You might be looking at different types of fields, but this should give you a base understanding of how the integration works. And if you'd like to find any more information on how TaskLot works, please visit TaskLot.com or contact us for a more thorough demonstration.